Hulk director blames criticism of Marvel series CGI on our culture's beliefs in ownership of women's bodies. That is not even the right criticism of the CGI. I am off camera Mecca because I just rolled out of bed. It is the crack of noon here in sunny Las Vegas. Happy Saturday to you all. And let's rip this She Art She Hulk article crap a new one, shall we? We also have off camera Rob. Who are you? Why are you here? I'm off camera Rob. How's how is everybody doing? It's Talking fun. to the mic. Fine Saturday. Talking to the mic, not the, yes. not the closet. Not the closet. Not the closet. I was in the closet. <laughs> Get out of the closet. It's okay to come out of the closet. Promise. No, I'm staying in the closet. It's okay to come out of the closet. Anywho, She-Hulk director says that they, you own our bodies because you're critical and and it's like it's like the Olympians' bodies and stop complaining because you own because right, you're just right. a bunch of man baby toxic re wham 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 wham. Right, you wham. know you know you you you. Uh, that's one of these. You're not defending the right thing here. We complained about the CGI. She looked like Shrek. This is what we were complaining about here. They, it looked like Shrek. It had this very cartoony, shiny finish that didn't look like skin. It looked very, very... Very waxy. Waxy. Very cartoonish. Yeah, like, like for a CGI animated cartoon yeah, a, a, show. A big, or budget, a big budget program like this should not have this look. Okay, and I understand VFX artists are under constraints, they have a lot of work to do, and they have a very short time to do it in. Yeah, and I also kind of understand that they're they're probably releasing early cuts on trailers, especially early, early, early trailers, so I don't really pick on it too much. Yeah. I'm willing to let it I'm willing to let it slide for the time being to see how the finished product works, okay? But at the same time, get the crap and thing right, because now you're making it this huge this huge culture war crap uh -huh. where where they're where they're responding and like, oh we're making it inclusive and we're gonna do it for the female lens and well, it's gonna be for women and you guys are just picking on us. You're just picking on our CGI. Well listen, they, they made a good listen, CGI Hulk discusses shows questionable CGI and they made a good point. Well, well, but they're not making the, the, they're not addressing the right point is what it is. Well, no, see, this is true. For context, the trailer was criticized by many for this. Yeah, like looking all plastic and waxy like Rock did on the score, like the Rock did in, in yeah. uh, The Mummy Returns yeah, as the Scorpion, Scorpion King. King. You're absolutely right. That's what we were complaining about, not for his, or not any for, of not, their... Not for the body type, not for for Jennifer Walters' body type. We weren't complaining about that. We're just getting all kinds of gaslighting from <laughs> sides of the aisle at this point. Listen, nobody's right here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> nobody's right on any of these articles, hardly. Especially, especially this person. Comments of Marvel protagonist protects the feelings of fragile fanboys, tones down the She-Hulk character. Oh, shut up. Shut up! No, See, now you're, now you're making it worse and you're responding to this incorrect crap from the producers saying it's our women and it's our women's bodies, it's women, women, women. Alright, first off, we kind of know this is a female-centered show. There's nothing wrong with that, having no. something for me for a change. No, yeah, you know, listen, if I could pull something out of it that I enjoy, fine. Yeah, but but let's face it, this this is about clothes, there's spandex jokes. Spandex is your best friend. There's fashion humor in this. This is gonna be for the, the audience who likes stuff like the Devil Wars Prada and Legally Blonde All and right. the Pitch Perfect movies, right. and I'm perfectly okay with okay. this being for that crowd. Nothing wrong with that. At the same time, though, we don't need to we, we don't need to be feeding into to this crap by making up and imagining these culture war issues where there are none. Yeah, I mean, like I said, yeah, it's you guys. Nobody is right here. Nobody is right. <laughs> Nobody's focusing on the right thing. <laughs> Uh, and, and to make matters worse, I mean, even Bounding, we love you guys, but for crying out loud, even even they screwed up one by saying that his the Hulk dismisses his powers as complete downsides, wow. and he literally says there's a few upsides right in the trailer here, but there's a few upsides, like we can drink alcohol. All buzz, no buzz. You can drink as much as you and, want. And, you know, Ooh. we're cool, and we're awesome, and we have a high metabolism and stuff, huh? so. So everybody's kind of turning this whole marketing into a culture war just because we're so used to fighting it where nobody literally nobody complained about her body type it was all no. about the texture no. and the face looking like shrek no 
And nobody, nobody, I don't think anybody was even mad that well, this look, was going to be a woman-centered well, movie. Look, look, she's gorgeous right there. Well, that I was mean, one of the fixed ones, I yeah. think. Yeah. It was the Shreky one. Right here, she kind of had a Shrek face going in that picture. Yeah. This is a little better, but... It's still not, it's still not there. Yeah. It's still not, it's better, there's parts of it that are better, but it's still not there. Even there, she is, even in this shot right here, she doesn't look too bad. Too bad. But, I mean, this is also, these people are using, what's, what's it called? Vision. Volume. 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 So we have this new CGI technique called volume that they developed for The Mandalorian where they render it in real time. Yes. And that means that they can see the CGI as they're filming it in the camera. However, all these new artists and VFX people, like they get hired for Disney and for Marvel for these shows, they want it to look screen accurate on TV time frame and TV budget. Yeah. And they want it done yesterday. So they're mm -hmm. treating these VFX artists in Marvel and Disney horrendously. Yeah. Oh yeah. What worse than yeah. video game developers. Yeah. What one of the things like I understand the volume now the correct and I may be corrected if I'm wrong here. It is like watching a video game play out with actors, and like they're like the the, the 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 environments, everything's rendered out in real time. The effects are rendered in real time, but there there probably still is finished work to be done. They still probably have to finish finish it. And this is new technology. Not everybody knows how to use this properly. Uh, so everybody's trying to market so, this. I think I think everybody's just fighting this where, culture war still because we're so used to it. Where you would have, let's just say, Tatiana Maslany, uh -huh. who's a very petite young lady, um, <clears throat> she would be wearing the dots in the in the ping pong ball suit, uh, and she would be acting against the blue screen. Now she would be acting. She would have all the dots and the ping pong balls on her, but Panda. They would be seeing that right there. Yeah, they'll see it in camera. They'll see it on camera in the rushes and everything. <clears throat> yeah. In the, the, the dailies or the rushes, whatever you call it now. But again, this still hasn't been perfected yet, and we're not arguing about her body type. We are arguing, but it doesn't look it doesn't look as it the I way mean, it should. I mean, she's turning into the girl version of the Incredible Hulk. Yeah. I think that it's probably it's probably okay here because if yeah. you look at him, I mean, he kind of looks like a He-Man. He yeah, looks I, like he belongs in Masters of the Universe. Yeah, yeah and they said <laughs> and they said they weren't going to go for that body type, which is understandable. Like you said, and she doesn't. I mean, she's still she's, pretty muscular in the yeah. comics. They toned her down quite a bit from the muscle here in well, this, this shot. This is more 80s She-Hulk. Yeah. This is more 80s She-Hulk. So, okay. Well, she, that's such an 80s outfit, too. The yeah. denim shorts, the faded stonewashed denim, the pink ringer t tanks or tee, whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. so 80s. Yeah, the, the baseball shirt cut off. Tee, yeah. yeah. So, like I said, so I'm clearly nailing all these things. I'm like, that's, like I said, we're... we're the, the series comes out in a, in, a, in a couple weeks, I think, and we're going to see the end results. It's not going to be for everybody. You know, that even, is... Even, you know, even... Here we go. Direct, she Hulk director, writer, and star defends her body, sympathizes with rushed VFX artists. So that's... At least Forbes is kind of not making it a sensationalized... Yeah, but they're not really... Sort of. We're two weeks yeah. away from the debut of She-Hulk, which will arrive on Thursdays, and non-standard Disney Plus time. A non-standard Disney Plus time. The show has been the subject of some measure of controversy for its almost entirely CG lead, She-Hulk herself, as some have questioned both the on-screen realization of the character and the quality of the VFX work seen in the trailers. I think we would have just rather had, okay. like, the 70s Hulk with, yeah, with just Luke, a, With an actress being... Yeah, just have, like, a Gina Carano, a, a very tall, muscular body type against well. Tatiana Maslany, who's... Very petite. And put her in green makeup. Yeah, just put put somebody in green makeup, and I think it would have been fine. Nobody yeah. would have cared. There's there's visual tricks you can do to get her to look bigger. But I mean, she is basically being like smart Hulk, so you need an actress who can pull mm. off like tough. So I can see why they made the call because that's going to be again, confusing because she has to be smart Hulk, sort of She Hulk again, version. Again, uh, VFX, you know, criticizing the work of VFX artists, and then she goes on. Now, the director of the show and showrunner and a star have all chimed in about these issues and made some pretty forceful defenses of both the character and those tasked with bringing her to life. First, director Kat Quiro Co spoke at the TCA Quiro. press tour via The Hollywood Reporter about the pushback that She-Hulk should have been more muscular than she appears to be in this version. No, oh, now they're complaining no, she needs no, to be more I muscular. I didn't hear anyone say she should have been more muscular. 
I thought this was after they toned down her being too muscular. I thought they had backlash that she was too muscular and well, they back- in the, toned in the, her down. In the comics now, she's more brutish. Oh but, yeah, she looks like but Fred again, Flintstone. Yeah, right? but again, this is more this is more eighties She Hulk. Which this is, is what this we is wanted. Pretty, this is pretty accurate. This is what I wanted. This is these are the comics I remember seeing. Yeah, this is yeah, this it, is when she was in the Fantastic Four. So in terms of the CGI, well, we do have the we do have the quote here, but they didn't. Uh, shout out to Forbes for not using it as a clickbait thing here, but they do say defend her body. However, that's not what we cared about in terms of the CGI being critiqued. I think it has to do with our culture's belief in its ownership of women's bodies, she said. I think a lot of the critique comes from feeling like they're able to tear apart the CGI woman. No, they, they, really? No, that's such no, a stretch, lady. No, lady, where no. The heck are you, where the heck are you pulling no. that? Where are you smoking that well, from? Well, that's the victim. That's a victim mentality. There's there. a lot to talk about her body type, and we based it on Olympian athletes and not bodybuilders. Okay, that's fine. Libyan athletes were bodybuilders, duh. Also, they fought naked, so. But I think if we had gone another way, we would have been facing the same critique. I think it's very hard to win when you make women's bodies. Well, you would have no. been facing critique anyway. This is the internet. This the is... internet has everybody's opinion on it, whether you want it or not. Why Why is it so hard for them to say, hey, listen, you know what? I hear the criticism out there. You know what? We're, we're working hard. We're going to fix it. And I really think you're going to like the end. What's so hard about saying well, that? Well, the problem is I can see exactly where they're coming from as somebody who's at the point on the internet. And I think we are to the the point and I get this myself on the internet where, where you get to the point where no matter what you say no matter what take you have no matter what time of the day you say it you're gonna get an opinion that disagrees with you you're gonna get that random person that just wants to complain just for the sake of complaining mm -hmm. and I, I get where she's coming from a little bit but it's not about women's bodies it's literally the internet it's in absolutely every video comment section whether you're a man whether you're a woman whether whether you're my Myself, whether you're a dose of Buckley or anybody out there that I watch, you get the same sort of stuff. You get people who just want to leave a negative comment because that's the thing that they do. So it's not an ownership of women's bodies. It's the ownership of the ability to voice your opinion with total anonymity, regardless of whether it's a correct opinion, regardless of whether or not you're just using it to gaslight people into thinking one way or another, like a lot of these articles are doing, like this one right here, or whether or not you you just want to speak your mind without the fear of any actual backlash in real life yourself. That's why all these people use burner accounts online when they criticize you, when they leave comments, when they all do all of these things. And I'm not talking about you guys, I'm talking about, you know, some of the jerks out there. But you you get this no matter what. That's the internet for you. The internet becomes this conglomerate of people who just leave opinions. And they're going, like, th this is literally just a case of they're going to complain no matter what you do. So just say, look, we made the decision and you guys are going to complain no matter what. This is my kind of my issue with a lot of the fandoms of things lately. This is where the toxic fandom comes in. This is where we come into the tribal culture war. This is where we come into the having to complain just for the sake of it. Like, like these sort of articles, they protect the feelings of fragile fanboys. Seriously, do you really need to use the language yeah, to do. make the attack? Yeah, do. <laughs> do we really need to use this sort of verbiage? Do we need to have the victim mentality? Do we really need to go the whole route of they're attacking our male heroes even on the bounding article where they where they where they just make up stuff for the hate click here. I mean, and I love you guys, but I think we're just arguing out of the sake of habit here on these. And it might be time to, to kind of put away the put away the tribes and put away the reing on both sides of the aisle and just look at this stuff for the content of what's there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I am Mecca, and I am probably only preaching to the same choir that already agrees with me because yeah. the tribes don't want to hear it on either side of the aisle. So, yeah. uh, well, I think we're gonna play some Mario Kart maybe tonight. We might uh -huh. do some streaming. Yeah, we got the switch hooked up correctly. Yay! Let's... There's Yay. new tracks. So come and hang out for that. I will see you guys on the next video live stream or wherever. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye! All buzz, no buzz.
Just good.